Hi, Patrick. <laughs> I just watched the video you made of the Gleaner's Kitchen for the first time in a while, and it almost brought me to tears. Then I started writing you an email to thank you, and then halfway through writing that email, I realized that words are just not enough to thank you properly. First of all, email is private, and I want it publicly stated how indebted I am to you. <laughs> but second of all, and more importantly, you're a filmmaker, so you understand how important these images are to conveying the meaning behind words. So here's a thank you vlog. I am so impressed with your editing choices. They're amazing. I think when you were making the video, and even when I first saw it a little bit later, I was still too close to the project, still too hurt from it, and I wasn't able to realize all of the really subtle details that you pulled out of it. There are messages that you relayed with your editing choices that I had wanted to say then, or maybe now I wish I had said then, but I didn't, I didn't know how to. But somehow you knew I was trying to say them, and you said them for me. Like this scene where we're all dressed in white giving out food to those wealthy picnickers. <laughs> what an image! I was aware of some of the irony of that scene at the time, like there must have been a reason why I chose to do that instead of something else, but wow, you, you pulled something out of it that I did not see. I was there, I remember being there, but somehow you were able to show me something about what it was like to have that experience, which I don't recall, but were essential. Or this shot, the way you shot me from below with stark lighting, it looks so foreboding. And it was foreboding, we got evicted like three days later. The way you shot that scene and wove it into the rest of the film, it made it look as if you knew that was going to happen, but I didn't know. I remember when you filmed that in the basement, it didn't feel foreboding at the time. Or how about how in the first 30 seconds of the film, 30 seconds, there's no audio whatsoever, no explanation, and then the first segment is some soundbite from a radio show where they mispronounce my name. Maximu Thaler's Gleaner's Kitchen. You have this way of saying things without saying them. You give us space to realize them on our own just from the image. Like, look at this image of Rachel spitting her gum into the dumpster in order to eat food from the dumpster. Or the symmetry of this shot. You often keep us looking at an image just a little bit longer than our attention spans would like, so that we really pause and think about what we're seeing. And see what it actually is, rather than trying to pre-articulate something and then have it fail. Um, yeah. So this is a vlog. I'm in a box. It's a very different kind of video medium, but I don't think I could have really understood how great of a gift it is that you've given me with this video without having spent a ton of time editing myself. You have this subtlety of being able to tell a story within a story. It's mind-boggling. And I feel so honored that of all the stories you could have chosen to tell, you chose to tell mine. You saw things in that story which I could not see. And so you made it your story too. So thanks for telling the story with me. So everything that I'm doing with the Gleaner's Kitchen, like, I mean, yes, it's about food, yes, it's about waste, but on, on a much more deeper philosophical level, it's about building community.